Hi everyone, Sarah here with Rustic Room Crafts. I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video on how I use the font MF I Love Glitter in Cricut Design Space. I know it's kind of a touchy font. Um, if you overlap the letters too much, which definitely happens depending on what letters you're using, um, it can smush out and hide uh, the letters after you weld them. So here's one example I just did. I did this after taking a lot of suggestions of making the font really big and then welding them together. Originally I had this at 15 by 30 and it still didn't connect my T. If I would have went any closer together I would have ran into problems with the O and the E. Um, so I think that's also some a technique that works depending on what letters you're using just like um, this one is that we're fixing to do here. So I have typed in everything and you can see here I just did the brackets, the underscore, um, the name, and then another bracket to create this design. You can get the font MF I Love Glitter from defont.com. Um, I just searched MF I Love Glitter or MF Glitter and I typed in what I wanted to say just to test it out. I already have this font downloaded but if you needed to you would just download it here free for personal use or go to Misty's Fonts and purchase a license to resell using this font, whether it be SVGs or signs that you're making. <clears throat> I will post a link below this video <coughs> directly to purchase this font if you wanted to do so. Um, the other only video I have is how to download and get this font into Cricut Design Space as well. Um, so let's get back to Design Space and try this out. So if I were to just type what I did up here, and go to edit and decrease my letter spacing because your letters have to be touching in order for you to weld it. Same with if you were welding an object, they have to be touching. So I'm, as I'm decreasing, you can already see um, I'm touching this curve where the bracket is, I'm almost touching where my E is, but I have huge gaps where my T's are and that's going to create issues for us here in a second. So my T's are still not touching and now I'm already overlapping into the E. So if I keep going keep going okay I might be able to go up one more it's just not gonna weld right we'll do one more okay so now we'll try to weld this and you'll see the hot mess we're fixing to get from it okay so yeah this does not look good at all it's not clean um, my E has disappeared because those are too close together um, you know there's just not clean lines this is not what somebody wants so here are my two fail pin attempts okay. and let's go ahead and try this way this is just what I do I've seen people load it into Inkscape I've seen people uh, pull it into Inkscape and then make an SVG and pull it into here I've seen others just make it really big and it works out but every time I try to make it really big I keep having issues so this is just what I do stick to what you know and what works for you is what I always say so Hopefully this can help somebody. It really doesn't take me any like extra extra time to do so. And I might even just keep this and keep the bracket separate because I think I might run into issues with that connecting too much. Nope. Okay, so now we're just going to go to each section and decrease the letter spacing over here under edit again until all the items are touching where they should hit nicely. Let's see. Okay, so now we'll go here and do this one. Sorry, I've got a little excited eight and a half month old hanging out with me. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So now I just set up everything um, to be welded and I kind of, um, whenever I'm typing things, I keep them in the same order as if they were connected because I've done this before, welded the item I was working on and saved it and then realized I misspelled it. And everybody knows once you weld something and you save it, there is no going back. You cannot do any repairs because uh, it just does not work. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll see. And then I just select everything, go to layers, oop, go to layers, and weld. And 
there you go. Everything looks much cleaner than this right here. Um, our lines connected properly. We don't have any of this issue here. Um, if you want before you do this, I've seen people weld the font. Um, just if they're using it for a stencil, I think it gives it more of a pop and makes it a lot easier to paint. So there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments and I will try to do a video to help out.